I I have a a heartache in my my heart, but uh, I am I am having coffee in my blood. Francisco Flores is a fifth generation coffee farmer. He and many other farmers in Costa Rica are facing new threats to their livelihoods. Uh, the generation to generation uh, to generation uh, are closing. Uh, and the people are uh, selling the farm, uh, are uh, making uh, houses in the farm, uh, another thing, but taking out the coffee. It's very, very bad. And you can see yellow uh, leaves and bad shape of the leaves is uh, because of the, a lot of wind and a very low temperature. It's very bad for the new plants. As Americans debate climate change, Costa Rican farmers believe that they have already seen its effects in unpredictable weather patterns that threaten their crops. It is very real and it's affecting all the world. Well, last year we had uh, too much rain. Year before, we had the opposite. So it's, it's, it will be changing drastically. And this year, so far, we haven't had even one week without rain. That's terrible for the, for the quality, terrible for, for the pickers, and terrible for the trees that they need to dry out and stress to prepare, not only for the harvesting, uh, but only for, also for the new crop. So, for example, uh, usually on average, uh, rainfall uh, is 2,800 millimeters of water. Uh, this last rainy season, we had over 4,000 millimeters of water rainfall. For this, it requires to know what to do. The attitude of no the coffee producer, you know, has to be really proactive. They need to be prepared prior instead of just waiting for the effect of climate change. As temperatures warm in some regions, farmers such as Ricardo Calderon Madrigal are actually benefiting. He is now harvesting coffee at elevations higher than he ever could have before. Eh. In the lower lands, the production of coffee this year is about 20 times than it has been in the past. It has not been as good as it has been. It has not been as good as it has been. It will favor those of us in the highlands, but those in the lower elevations will not be favored. But those in the lower elevations will not be favored. But those in the lower elevations will not be favored. Because coffee is so sensitive to changes in temperature and rainfall, it is particularly susceptible to climate change. Other crops may soon be affected as well. Well, because that definitely is going to impact uh, everybody. I mean, we're talking right now about coffee, but it happens in all, every crop that you produce around the world. So it's going to be a problem of, of, of the food that we eat in the future. I mean, the, the thing that's happening with coffee, it will happen, and it's happening in Costa Rica and other countries with other products and, and, and to feed all the population of the world is going to be tougher every year if we don't adapt or try to control. The coffee uh, was the more important, it's very important. When take out the, the coffee, the town and the people uh, has a, a lot of trouble. Get to the poor, uh, no money. Uh, it's very uh, important in the coffee production for, for Costa Rica.